As you grab a seat and everything here, we're going to uh, read some scripture. You have your Bible, you can turn to Revelation chapter 19. <laughs> Revelation chapter 19. <laughs> chapter 19, beginning in verse 10. So John has received information about so many things by the time you get to chapter 19 and yet he's still receiving information angels are letting him know things and he's just heard about the marriage of the lamb the marriage feast of the lamb and so here it says in verse 10 uh, then i fell at his feet to worship him now this was an angel giving this information but he said to me do not do that I am a fellow servant of yours and your brethren who hold to the testimony of Jesus worship God. So now that he said that, he's going to make one more statement that is so important to what we're doing here today with Al Guest and Sandy with us and the chance to understand why what we do to share Christ right now is so extremely important because of the period of history that we're in. And here's what it said. For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. That's the point of prophecy. It points to the testimony of Jesus. He is the Son of God. He is the Savior. He is the Lamb that was sacrificed on our behalf that we might be saved. And so when we ignore prophecy, we ignore the testimony of Jesus as it is important to the world, especially in this time. And as we heard in the Bible study hour, the reality that prophecy convinces many people of the reality that the word of God is true. And what it has said has been fulfilled and what it will be saying next is going to happen is going to happen because God has proved it by fulfilling the prophecies of the past. All right. If you look at your cypress heart quickly, I know that I am just a shadow of Nicholas Coleman. Uh, but you have uh, Jack with pink eye and Kelly at work. So you'll want to pray for both of them since Kelly's going to be out in the weather and Jack is not doing well. Notice, if you would, uh, the Harold Mills Scholarship, if you're in college, you want to participate in that. The deadline's the 23rd, church-wide picnics coming up the end of the month. There is your schedule. Workday, Saturday coming. Uh, then we have one-year anniversary. I mean, if y'all know Nancy, she's sitting right over there. Wave at me, Nancy. She's worked here a year, and she's not any crazier than when she got here. So... She was pretty crazy already. So, anyway, thank you for shoes for orphan souls. You can look and see how many. So it's 97 pairs of shoes, 330, I mean 135 pairs of socks, 12 pairs of shoelaces, $325, and a partridge in a pear tree. We got the whole thing. All right, if you're a guest with us today, notice this little perforated tab says welcome. And we want to know more about you. As you go through the service, if there's a decision that you would like to make known and have counsel with, underneath the welcome is a place for you to put that. On the other side of that is the uh, Wednesday night supper. And so you see loaded baked potatoes, tea, dessert, that sort of thing. If you're going to participate with us in that, you'll want to tear this off regardless of what reasons. You could be filling it out for all three reasons. But place it in the offering plate later in the service when that is passed. Look on the front of the, the, I mean the back of the seats in front of you. You see some envelopes with red hearts somewhere along the road? Those are love offering envelopes. We want to remind you that today your opportunity to bless Al and Sandy and their ministry is going to be done through those love offering envelopes. And so we want you to have that as well. Now. Quickly, we're going to put up on the screen an announcement here about the uh, mission trip. 
And so let's see what we get. Are they going to be headed? There is the church in Philadelphia, Mississippi. Uh, the pastor's Choctaw. It's uh, ministering to that group of people. Uh, this is between Jackson and Meridian. And so let's go inside and see what they need help with. I have no choice but to hang on. <laughs> All right, well, what we're doing is they're trying to get the pictures to go. Uh, we have an opportunity to do like a sports camp with 50 to 70 kids, potentially, uh, to have Bible study with those kids as we do the camp. We have the opportunity to do completion of sheetrock work, to take, float, uh, texture, paint. Uh, this building has four classrooms, a fellowship hall, and a worship area. But the most important feature for all of you that are hesitant to go, June the 12th through the 16th, if I had a laser pointer, I would point out to you right on the right hand side, just around the corner, on the ground, what did you see? An air conditioner, how observant. And so those of you who are a little hesitant to be uh, out working and all that, this is an inside work job. Uh, there's a possibility of putting in a snap lock floor, depending on how far along we are in the project. And so this small congregation is having to meet in the tribal uh, facilities and that sort of thing. And they're trying to get on this property so they can expand their ministry uh, beyond just Sunday mornings and that sort of thing. And uh, so maybe later on this evening we'll be able to get these pictures to move and I can show you the other eight of them. But let's just thank God you saw the church. All right. Uh, what we want to do now is uh, go ahead and start our time of worship. Before we do, those of you who may be reading uh, Joel Rosenberg, I don't know if you've been reading this series of uh, uh, Christian fiction. Uh, this is uh, the J.B. Collins series, and it's had the third hostage out, and uh, no, the third, yeah, third, well, there's three books. Anyway, you'll know which series this is. This is the new one, uh, without warning, and if you've been looking for it, and you'd just like to borrow it, here's a copy you can borrow. We ready? All right.
Let's pray together. Father in heaven, thank you for the fact that it's not raining right now. We thank you to everybody.